This module is about marketing and selling. Um, it's you know it's 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 a huge topic. Um, we're just going to introduce uh, you know some of it here today, um, and hopefully this this part of the site, this part of the program, is going to build up over the coming months and hopefully years as people put in their various inputs to to, to in terms of how to market, how to promote, how to create brand, uh, techniques for selling, techniques for lead generation. They're all subjects in their own right. The one thing that we'd say is try and get the balance when you're starting your business between marketing and sales right. Uh, we've had a very vibrant debate going on the site for the last six to eight months um, on the on the balance between doing too much marketing and not doing enough selling or doing too much selling and not doing enough marketing. They're flip sides of the same coin. At various stages of your business, one is going to be maybe a little bit more important than the other. But at the start-up phase, we're finding that there's a lot of people on this site that could be saying, look, I'm spending too much time on marketing. I'm spending too much time on, on, on formulating my, my, my business proposition. And when I'm doing all this, I'm not out there selling. I'm not out there generating revenue. Um, there's no right or wrong answer. Um, we have a, there's, there's another uh, great debate going on the site about the, the, the importance of brand. Now, the importance of brand at the startup stage. You know, do you, how much time do you spend thinking about it? You know, our argument would be that your brand evolves as your business evolves, and you get to know exactly what your proposition is. And ultimately, your brand is what your customers and your stakeholders think of, of, of what you're doing, rather than you trying to formulate it and, and pitch it and, 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 and position it at the start. The other, the other thing that you need to think about when you're starting your business is, what are my own particular skills? You know, we have people who are product people who are great at starting businesses with great products, but may not necessarily be great at getting out there and, and marketing, promoting and selling them. A lot of those businesses fail. Because the, the guy that started the business didn't recognize the importance of, of the selling skills that he didn't have. So he didn't compensate for it. We also have a situation where uh, there are people who you know, have great ideas and, and, and put together wonderful business propositions and just hire the wrong people. You know, they don't hire really good salespeople because they, they just don't understand what the skills are, are required in hiring those staff. So there's a whole range of things that you need to think about when you're when you're getting the sales and marketing side of your business right. And and and, and I would I would slightly disagree with Fanon because I I don't think and I, and I'm a marketeer myself. I think the issue at startup is is only about uh, selling. It is only about prospecting, making the phone calls, starting the appointments, and start selling your uh, your product. Marketing will follow up it, and that's graft. So you need to build your sales pipeline. You need to do your scripting. You need to uh, make the phone call. So if you know that you need five appointments in a week, you need to know you know that you need to make twenty phone calls, and it's literally just graft and graft all the time. And the focus should, in my view, only about selling. I'm, I'm not necessarily. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with that. But as I said, it's, it's, it is about getting the balance right. Um, and again, I suppose the, 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 you have to ask yourself two questions that again appeared on the site, which might crystallise this debate for you. Um, and there was one question appeared, uh, um, and at the very start of, of, of when we launched this, was if I had two thousand quid, my, I was down to my last two thousand quid. Do I spend that money on a website or a great brochure, or do I splash it out bringing my potential distributor across in London, across to Belfast or Dublin, and giving them a great relationship building weekend? Or the, the other question that might crystallise this for you is. I can, I, I can afford to hire one member of staff. Do I hire a salesperson or do I hire a marketing person in order to drive my, 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 you know, the, the front office of my business forward? We're not going to give you the answers, but the, these are the kind of things that are being dis, uh, discussed and debated uh, on small business can. There probably is no right or wrong answer, but what it does is you have to start thinking about these things as you start your business.